Wow. <laughs> I seriously leave Ray Outfitted for one week and all of the stuff you see behind me is what came in <laughs> while I was gone. <laughs> I don't even know what most of that stuff is. <laughs> oh my gosh, what did I order? <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I don't even. I don't even know where to start. Let's let's take the small one here. <laughs> so, <laughs> not all of this is from Amazon. There's a couple of packages up here. Three of them actually that were shipped to me from Jackery. And we got some stuff from Teespring. So this one says it's made in Ontario. Ooh, that's fancy wrapping. Orange bitters. That's one box done. It's come through customs from the USA. Oh, it's from Teespring. <laughs> I've got a ton of my own merchandise on Teespring and not all of it I've had the chance to order and wear myself. And this one, my friends, is something I am very stoked about. It's one of our all over print shirts. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Oh, guys, look at this thing. I've never ordered this of my own. Ha! Huh? It's my What's Up Weirdos all over print shirt from Teespring. <laughs> Super damn stoked. You guys always just end up seeing me wear my t-shirts and other things, but I've never bought one of the, I got one of them, but it's got my Van City Van Life logo on it. This one is super dope. Okay, on to another package. We got another one from Teespring. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I need to grab somebody. Calling Madison Ray Outfitted. I bought them a little gift. I got something for you. Okay, <laughs> so since the shop here at Ray Outfitted was built, how long ago was this built? Uh, like three months ago. Three months ago. So this place needed some decoration, let's just say. It's got all the tools it needs, just needed a little bit of Vansity Van Life love. So I bought them something little, just, just something really little for the wall. Wanna grab a part of that? Holy crap, look at that. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing! Holy <laughs> but unbelievable. <laughs> Here you go. Done deal. Thanks, girl. Yeah, no problem. Okay, just walk that way. It's okay, I won't direct you into the building. <laughs> really damn awesome. Teespring links are down below for that stuff. I can't remember the cost of that one. I think it's like 70 bucks Canadian or something. That thing is super rad. <laughs> She's got a little van life because normal life sucks cape going on. Okay, let's keep going. Tell her to do the cruises over there. It's like, what's going on, Dad? This isn't very exciting for you guys. It's just uh, a couple of five foot XLR cables. I need to wire up the sound system in my van, which I'll hopefully be doing that later today or tomorrow. <laughs> Um, John made food. John, like Yukon Van, the guy that's here at Outfitted, getting his van built. He was cooking with this, this little spice, and he's like, it's literally just a jar of of MSG. So it was so yummy on the rice that I had to buy one for myself. <laughs> Let's get into this box. Uh, this one was shipped to me by Jackery. I got a few boxes from them. Kind of, uh, 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 the Jackery 1000 um, as replacements for the ones that I do have uh, as technology changes and things move forward at Jackery they keep me updated to make sure that I've got the latest and best versions of everything because my channel is sponsored by them you guys will always hear 
two sponsored mentions every month from them and also a Jackery solar panel. See, when you're when you're my age, we don't get Christmas gifts anymore. So these are the times that you spoil yourself, and this to me feels a whole lot like Christmas. Okay, there is a lot going on inside of this box. There's um I'm excited for this one. A little while ago, I told you guys I wanted to build a drawer for tequila, just a tequila based drawer, a place where I can put all the ingredients and all the tools that I need to make a good, classic, old fashioned tequila. And that's a majority of what this package right here is, is everything that I need. Some agave syrup, picked up some chain oil for my electric chainsaw. I bought one of these little leather handles for my cast iron pan. I bought one of them because they're like $30 and I wasn't too sure how it would work. So I bought one and then I ended up buying this one for my second cast iron pan. These things are awesome and they feel good on the pan. Dog treats for crews. Oh yeah. So I got myself a set for um, like a shaker and everything that I'm gonna need to mix up a cocktail um, tequila drawer. It's coming together. Having one large ice cube is better than having smaller ice cubes when it comes to putting a spirit um, on ice because the smaller ones will melt faster, watering down the drink too fast. So I bought myself molds for round ice cubes, great big ones, and square ice cubes. Pretty cool. <laughs> Come on, think about it. You got a nice little drink with a round frozen ball in the middle of it. Um, I'm super excited. And this is one of the most exciting parts about building my tequila drawer, was buying myself two things. One, a nice set of shot glasses and a nice set of glasses to make myself an old fashioned tequila. Look at that, look like they're falling apart. How sweet. So um, having glass in a van is always, always a hard thing to do because if they clang around, things are gonna break. So I ended up buying a foam liner for that drawer, which is gonna, I'm gonna pull the foam out from the section so the glasses will fit nice and snug, spaced apart perfectly. I'm excited to build that drawer. I just hope the drawer works out because you never know, it might be a complete failure. Okay, I might have lied. This box here might be my most favorite part of this whole purchase. You guys ever seen a video that I made popcorn in the van and not like on a pot because I can mess those ones up? These little Jiffy Pops. We used to have these in the, the, the 80s when I was a kid. Put them on the stove, you shake them up and it goes Pops up and you got popcorn. Yeah, I bought an entire box. There's 12 of them in there. What's this? Oh. You know what? It ain't, it ain't that bad, but it ain't that great. Um, I needed a place to put my laundry and in the cabinet where my propane tank used to be, um, this is going to be my new laundry bag, so it'll just kind of go in the cupboard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Man. You know what? Ideally, if it's got handles on and it can fit dirty clothes, it's good. Ooh, that's fancy feeling. New fitted sheets. Hey, wait a minute. There's one more box. This one I'm excited to see. Read that says light bar. I've always wanted like a big light bar for the front of my van. And I was looking at some of the, um, some of the brand ones like rigid or anything like that. And they were just so expensive and I couldn't wrap my head around the amount of money those light bars were. So I went on Amazon and I found one for a few hundred bucks. Ooh. Are you guys ready? This is going on the front of my van. <laughs> Whoa. It's gonna be mounted right on the top of my roof rack, right on the front. Bada boom. Or maybe on the bumper. On the top. <laughs> I had to take that off. It was getting a little bit too warm to wear it. Wow, man, I've, uh, 
I've never made a shopping haul like this one ever before. And I know it seemed like a lot, but really ideally a couple of the big boxes were the Jackery batteries and stuff which came from them. But for the most part, we didn't buy a whole lot. Let me take a look right here. That's really what we got. A couple of glasses. How insane is that? How insane is that you get all those boxes that you guys seen in the thumbnail all piled up all over the place and that's all that came out of it. That's it. Jiffy Pop, some glasses, some bedding, some towels, some simple syrups, agave syrup, <laughs> dog treats, and a laundry hamper in all of those boxes. Amazon is literally the king of putting something tiny in a ginormous box. Like it felt like I had a lot more stuff there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Take the nice little protective thing right off the front of this Explorer 1000. All right, we got that solar panel connected to it, but this, this new one here came with a connector allowing us to connect two panels. So let's connect two of them. Ah, all right. Back here besides all my cardboard from today is my other Jackery panel. Little Velcroed legs on the back of the panels. This one is a little bit dirty. I've never seen this thing before. It's like a jumper cable allowing me to connect two panels together. All right. That makes sense. This panel, two hands, this panel goes into that one. Boom. Boom, just like that. Let's see what we're pulling for power. So this 100 watt panel, currently in the solar conditions we're having here in Canada right now is getting 68. Now plugging this one in, boom right there, we got them both. Brings us up to 117 watts. While we're at Happy Camper Kids, my van literally got drowned in sawdust and I kept blowing it out using that little Ryobi blower thing that I've got and sweeping it and wiping it down, doing my best to kind of keep it at bay. Total failure day after day. And today we just finished pulling the mattress off of there. We're gonna pop up all the little cubby compartments and give this thing a good vacuum. Let's go see what kind of nastiness is underneath there. This will be the last time our bed's out of the house, Cruz. Hey, the last time. Things will be back to normal by the end of today. Hey, crazy. Are you guys ready? Let's just pick a hole. You guys can't see in that one. Let's try this back one over here. Maybe you guys can see in this one. Look at all the sawdust. <laughs> we have our work cut out for us. Look at it all in there. Just piles of it. We have one giant shop vac. One shop vac, one giant vacuum hose, and a power plug, and use the Jackery Explorer 1000 to power <laughs> this rigid shop vac. What do you think? <laughs> you think we got this? So the Explorer 1000 has a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter, giving this pure, clean power. And when you want to turn things on here, this one shows the display, you push the button. This one turns on all of your power outlets, whether you're doing a quick charge USB, a regular USB or a USB-C, or using the 12 volt little cigarette port there, you push that button and turn it on. This one, you push that button, you hear the inverter kick on, now this plug now has power. Dun, 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 dun. Ready? Oh snap! What are we pulling? What do we got? 966 watts. <laughs> okay. 
underneath there looks pretty good. Bada boom. Crazy. How insane. All this running off of that battery. Don't get me wrong. It made fast work of that juice. It was at 50%. Now it's at 36%. That was probably maybe five minutes worth of power draw. So if that thing's pulling about a thousand watts on a 1000 watt battery, that thing will only run for one hour before this thing needs a full charge. But super impressive that you can run that off of that. If you guys want links to purchase these things, they're in the description of this video. Let's get the back of this thing vacuumed out. It's gonna be so nice to get all this dust out of my house. All right, got the power right there. Boom! Boom! Oh, boom! <laughs> that was pretty fun. That was Rainer's idea. They brought out the vacuum so I could vacuum out all this dust. And Rainer's like, why do you use the Jackery 1000? <laughs> what? It's pretty cool. Come on, look at that. Tiltable solar all on a switch. Just flick it and go. <laughs> it's wicked. <laughs>